Well, she's the stay-at-home mum of four who's built a $15 million empire and counting from one simple idea. Jennifer Holland wants to encourage other Aussie mums to do the same. Her story is a remarkable one. And she joins us now. Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, how are nice you going? You. Very well. Thank it's a you. very simple idea, throat scope, but tell us how it works. Uh, look, it's a, a illuminated tongue depressor and it's got a disposable blade and a reusable handle. Clip it together and... <laughs> light up the mouth. <laughs> so this came about through your own experience at the doctors with your own kids. Yes, that's correct. So I actually had the idea after taking my 15-month-old um, baby to the doctors and he seemed to be suffering from a sore throat. So the doctor got out his wooden tongue depressor in one hand and his handheld torch in the other. Right. And he asked me... the doctors. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. So he asked me to restrain my child whilst um, he pried open his mouth with the wooden tongue depressor. It was a little distressing for me yeah. to see that and very unpleasant. So I decided to embark on the journey of researching why they didn't have a one-handed device with the light source located inside the mouth. Mm. And, and how long did it take you to get the innovation together? Uh, it's, so I had the idea in 2009, at the end of 2009, and um, since then on the journey it's taken me about four years in development. Four years. Wow. Frustrations? Uh, look, I've had three children yeah. um, along the journey. Their frustrations. Yeah. <laughs> So it's been, you know, a little bit of a different ride for me, um, you know, not the normal entrepreneurial ride that people go on, mm. but it's, um, you know, been fantastic having those, like, four children along the journey because it actually led me to realise the need for it at home as well. There they oh, are. There they are. Yep. Um, so, so, hang on, just, just so, is this for use in everyday households? Or is it mainly by doctors? Yeah. This is for doctors, vets, hospitals, at home. Okay. We're now selling in Kenmar yeah. as well as uh, right. through EBOS and Vital Medical Supplies here in Australia. Where um, you know we've done distribution deals all over the world. Wow. Um, yeah, 140 countries. At some point, you need an to. injection of capital. So, so you go from this idea, and you may or may not have had the capital yourself, but, but you go right. Well, this idea can go from my idea. I've mm. developed it, but now we can go global with this or, or the first step along the way but you needed money for it I and mean, how do you go about doing that it is really tricky especially when you're a startup yeah. um you need to find investors i've had mm. uh, you know a lot of investors that didn't um you know we didn't go through with it just for one reason or another yeah. um i was very lucky to get investment um on Shark Tank, yeah. um, so that really helped us, and then we did a big capital raise um, halfway through last year. When just you say before big, we how launched. much of the capital raise? Um, Roughly. It was a pre-sales. Yeah. We raised three hundred sixty thousand at wow. a two million dollar valuation, and that was wow. pre-sales. So, so it was they're fantastic. laughing now. I mean, this thing could go into hundreds of millions, and, sure. and so this is what this is what your little humble idea from your house <laughs> right. turns into a global <laughs> phenomenon. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 very overwhelming yeah. to be honest. So so many people, mums especially, are sitting at home with these great ideas that can make life easier for everyone, but getting past that barrier, and, and it's quite daunting, mm. right, mm. for many people, the time, the money, the energy, the, the fear of failure as well. What is your advice to anyone sitting at home, sitting on a terrific idea, who might be feeling a little bit nervous about going for it? I think, um, you know, you've got to go for it. If you don't, you're going to regret it. It's um, one of those things, I think, along my journey, it's always been about believing and acting and persisting. Mm. For me, you know, you've got to believe in yourself, believe in your product and believe in your ability to actually achieve it. Mm. And then you act on it. You have to act on it. If you sit around, someone else isn't going to do it for you. That's They're right. not going to get up and actually get out there and, and do your idea for you. So, you know act upon it um, wow. and then persist. Yeah. Great Persisting, words. Yeah. Great words. Um, I know you've got a dodgy cousin, Dave, who I know, um, and, and look, he's very proud of you as the it's whole family fun. is. All the kids should be. And, and look, I, I suppose at some point uh, the business is going to get really, really big for you um, and then you can make decisions from there. But to, to see you and to talk to you about where you came from and where you are now is awesome. We're so excited for you. Well done. Thank you. Nice Thank you very much. Done. Look, look forward yeah. to seeing what comes next. We'll put uh, all the details about Throat Scope on our website and as well. The great thing is you can take these to a rave party. That's well. right. <laughs> Everybody wins, huh? It's middle of the night. Okay. Just bring your own smoke machine, though. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, Thank you.